so yes nothing os is similar to stockish os oneplus initially started with but things went in different direction for oneplus and right now oxygen os 12 is not even slight close to stock pixel ui this is nothing os versus oneplus oxygen os and i'm gonna show you guys the main changes in these two skins which should you use and which one is better for you Spoiler alert, OnePlus Oxygen OS may look bad in terms of UI but is better in many places. So Nothing OS is not exactly a pixel UI copy, they have done some small changes here and there to make this skin look unique. OnePlus is not even trying to copy pixel UI, you guys can see we have dual lock screen clock in Nothing OS which is similar to pixel skin but same basic clock in OnePlus. The home screen is customizable in both these OS like you can change icon pack, add some widgets but OnePlus is offering some more options like transition, there's this application layout and finally OnePlus shelf which is you can say an area to check and access widgets, some main apps, search, music, steps. So all at one place like in iOS and MIUI, yeah you can disable it like I do and the quick settings can be used by swiping down left top. So basic UI in OnePlus similar to Color OS. Nothing OS is using pixel like quick settings, we have material U colors which look great but some changes they have done are the circular huge smart swipeable tiles which will show you network and connected devices. OnePlus is using same Oppo-ish launcher with same application draw most of us hate and now I'll show you guys some system apps like dialer, messages, Gallery, Camera UI, Recorder and there's this Zen mode in OnePlus which lets you relax. So both of them got no to less bloatwares, G apps and some exclusive apps which is fine. Now OnePlus Oxygen OS lets you customize the always on display which is awesome like we have so many different styles to pick from. We have this canvas AOD which works so well and then you can also choose different font which is something you cannot do in nothing phone one. Here forget about changing the dot matrix font or always on display clock style you cannot even turn off or turn on always on display as of now. Nothing is using same pixel style wallpaper picker but they are showing wrong design and font of clock. Here rest of the settings are same in both. Some exclusive options are like OnePlus got this virtual RAM option, they have this gaming application which will show the FPS, let you change voice and maintain the game performance. Nothing got glyph interface which is LED controller, some special dot matrix animation for say charging or pop up menu and yes the nothing about section shows same OnePlus Oxygen OS 10 UI with phone image and then specs which looks great. The area where OnePlus still wins is RAM management, fast animation without any lags or hiccups and nothing OS is not doing great in there. Yeah, there are some lags, the animation is not clean and they need to work a lot there. Nothing is promising 3 years of OS and 4 years of bi-monthly security patches, OnePlus is offering same but only for flagship devices. So there nothing is going right. Summing up, OnePlus should change their UI, it's sold and not even close to stock pixels. Nothing should work on RAM management and animation, their UI is great like pixel UI. This all guys, thanks so much for watching, your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.